Our story on the Becheve women of Obanliku local government area of Cross River State continues this week. In our previous episode, we brought you up to speed with the visit by various interest groups promising to intervene. Well, what's the state government doing in this mix? Join us for details. <laughs> Us all the way from Calabar, you see all these women here. We come out from our different houses. Come, pay transport, come. At least so that we will come here with our voices. Carry that on our voice now. Carry go back Calabar, go tell government. See this one. Now, so if they don't leave her. When he did, how many years old? Four years old, now they sell her. Even now, the man don't get money to come call him again. The man don't get money to collect that. The family, don't push and say, not be we get you. Now, best in property way, you not be so. Back in Calabar, the state capital, more concerned groups are meeting at the instance of Governor Ben Ayade to fashion out possible ways of ending money marriage. The meeting is chaired by the Commissioner for Women Affairs and the Assembly member representing Oban Liku people on implementable steps towards ending money marriage. We've all acknowledged what the pastor in that locality is doing. A great job. But we all know there's a limit to which the pastor can go, being that he is not an indigene of the place. And being that this is not just a cultural practice, but it also has spiritual connotation. There are, there are communities, Kuteli, and all those people, uh, Belegete, and all of that, that you don't get there in a day. Who goes there to, to sensitize them? So, but if we're able to attract some people either women or chiefs, we engage them at different levels. When we engage them, what do we do? What are the incentives we have available to attract? You understand? Those are the issues that we should start thinking about now. If there is also a voice from the international community. So we need to address the economical part of it. So, Commissioner, please, this is my point, and I'm very happy that also we have the police force, the security forces around. They have a major role to play from now on. They probably we're doing all these abominable acts as a matter of ignorance, but now we are going to take to them, you know, that uh, there is a child rights law in practice in Cross River State. So in the process of implementing this child rights law, we're going to let them know that there are sanctions. So if they are selling out their children in marriages, then they have to know that the law will come on very hard on them. So these are all things we have... Um, uh, re resolved to achieve in a couple of weeks and uh, we are equally planning to be a bit subtle in the first instance uh, because uh, we know that uh, it's a culture it's something that, that they're going to leave gradually so we're not just going to go with a hammer in our hands to start hitting up their heads to say look you must stop these practices we're first uh, going to be engaging in dialoguing with them first with the um, elites community the elites forum in Becheve community, after which we'll go to uh, meet with the chiefs, to engage with the chiefs, where we plan to equally engage with the youths and the women, you know, to let them know how ignorant their actions have been in the past and to let them know that there's a law in place to be able to check these uh, inadequacies of theirs. While concerned mount, keen watchers would want to see talks match with action so as to accelerate the freedom of these Becheve women by bringing to an end this age-long money wives culture. <laughs> 